Uh, no lead up to a big football game is complete around these parts without having our pigskin prognosticator on the show. And with the great cup in town, you know retired CFL lineman who played 11 seasons in the league. 10 with the Cats. Pete Diakowski is excited. Hey, buddy. How are you? Tim, excited is an understatement. <laughs> I'm fired up. I'm better than I've ever been in my Let, life. Let's start. Okay, what are you doing for the game? Well, I'm, I'm there. You're there. Uh, I've, I, I, now, I'm, I'm no longer a, a player. I'm a season seed holder and fan. So this being the most historic game in Hamilton since 1972, I'm not missing it. I'm going to be there. Are you a face painter or are you a chess painter? I, I, I go, you know, head to toe and just, you know, clothes where legally required. <laughs> we all appreciate that. Big Pete, thank you. Okay, let's break it down a little bit. Listen, Ticats defense, they've carried them all this season. What do we expect from them on Sunday? Uh, watch number 56, Jagger Davis. He is a machine. Uh, this is a guy who single-handedly changed uh, a lot of games for the Cats, and we're gonna we're gonna see him at his best. He's got to be at his best. Our D line, and, and you look across the board, Teddy, uh, Mr. Wynn. Uh, we've got a we have got a, a very big challenge to confront in Andrew Harris. We've got a player who just by strength of will puts his team on his back. He did it again in the Western final. So our D line has got to step up, but they're, they are the line to do it. I mean, you can see them. We've got some beautiful clips there, by the way, the athleticism, the strength, the power. Uh, these guys kept us in that East final game. They kept holding Toronto to kicks and allowed us a chance to turn back on in the second half and come back and win it. So this is D-line is a strength of the Ticats team, and we've always been a defensively minded team. That's always been in our DNA. And, of course, the bell cow of the team, Mr. Simone Lawrence, leads that defense. Yeah. He's playing yeah. as well as he ever has, and this is, uh, this is a time for them to shine, winter football. Kicking wins and loses games, especially big games. How are we looking there? Well, that's one where everyone may be on the edge of their seats, uh, a, a little bit. Uh, we have had some great kicks and then we've had some frustrating misses. And you just saw one there. We've we've missed a few too many PATs this season. Uh, and even a point or two could be a deciding factor in this game. So if, if the wind picks up, hold your breath. However... Well, the weather is looking better. It's not good. Good thing the game's not tomorrow because the wind is crazy, but it's actually looking good on Sunday, so that's pretty good news. The thing that isn't good news is your old pal, Zach Kolaris, is returning to town. How good has he been this year? He hasn't been good. He's been great. <laughs> Zach is head and shoulders uh, the number one quarterback in the league. If you look at passer rating... Uh, he's 10 points ahead of, of the next. He is, now there's no guarantees, but he is a shoe in for the league MOP award that's going to be given out tonight. Uh, this guy is playing the best football of his career. And you know, everyone looks at that 2019 season where he got training around, just played a few games at the end of the season for Winnipeg and wins himself a great cup. This year, he proved that that was no accident. He has led the league in most major statistical categories or being right near the, the top of several others. He's the best all-around quarterback in the league in the game, just like Andrew Harris. He's a guy just through strength of will, puts his team on his back, and he wants to win this game. He he still ha he loved his time in Hamilton, and I think he still has you know a bit of a chip about yeah, for sure he does. How, yeah. how it ended. And so this is yeah. a chance. He's not happy with one Grey Cup. Yeah. He's not someone well, who's going to be... Well, he wants to do it in the field that he used to play in, too. So, listen, we're running out of time. we got to get to it. Let's do Pete's picks. I'm assuming oh. I think I know where you're going, but we got to bring up the board. Let's do it. There. Oh, oh, a little blue steel coming at us. What do you got? Okay, quickly. we got to well, do this quick, Pete. Look at the 2019 Grey Cup for guidance, and a lot of people see that, you know, Winnipeg beat us by 33 to 12. I think we're going to flip it around. I think we're going to be Winnipeg. 33 yeah. to 12, but it's going to be a slog and it's going to open what? up late. Oh, no. Oh, no. no if somebody's no, not, well, is that, some, if, they have the vol, if they have the mute on, it looks like you're picking the bombers there. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little prank. I had to prank you there, Pete, because I knew who you were going for. What do you got for a score? 
it's the exact opposite from last Grey Cup. 33 to 12, Ty Cats over Blue Bombers. But okay. it's going to be really close the whole game. Amazing. And then okay. in the fourth quarter, it's going to open up. We're going to get a real deep pass. <laughs> we got to go. Gonna get fired up. Pete, we got to go, buddy. Love seeing you. All right. I, I don't get the big bear hug from you, but have fun on Sunday. Behave yourself and uh, Oski Wee Wee. Oski Wawa.